City leaders in La Mesa are trying to figure out why some QR codes that are supposed to help people pay for parking are directing them to websites promoting pornography instead. CBS 8's Steve Price joins us live from La Mesa to show us the problem and how the city is solving it, at least temporarily. Steve? Yeah, Marcel, let me go ahead and show you the temporary solution. The city came out here and they covered all of these QR codes with a marker. So if you scan them, nothing will happen. They no longer work. Now, the city tells me these stickers were first put up here last summer, but they didn't learn there was an issue until yesterday. The QR codes you see on parking meters around La Mesa are supposed to take you here, the Park Smarter app, where you can pay for parking on a stored credit card. But when we scanned meters around town, we were directed to Google search pages, including one for the Securities and Exchange Commission and another one we had to blur out because it's promoting pornographic videos. Welcome to La Mesa. It's a wonderful place to do business, but it's sometimes interesting. Yeah. Suzanne Laterra says her customers have used the app to add money to their meter, but she had no idea something was wrong with the QR codes until she saw city workers covering up the codes Monday morning. He was just kind of doing his business and moving on to the next one. A parking enforcement officer quickly walked past us this morning and check out his left hand. He's holding a black marker. Every single QR code we saw after that was covered up. The city acknowledged they are aware of the issue and got rid of the QR codes, adding in a statement, the vendor of the parking meters has been contacted and alerted of the issue. The vendor has been asked to correct the issue and provide an explanation of the problem. QR codes have become extremely popular since the pandemic. In fact, several businesses in La Mesa use them including Suzanne's. We use them even for, well, you know, business cards. A lot of my styles have a QR business code where you can tap through, you can pay, you can make an appointment. Yeah, it's it's definitely something that we utilize, but it needs to be the right the right one. So late this afternoon, I got another email from the city. They said they have now heard back from the vendor and the vendor explained that the problem is that you first have to open the app and then scan the QR code. You can't just scan it with your phone, which is what you would normally do in a restaurant or any other place when you normally see these QR codes. The city has now asked for replacement stickers from the vendor that will fix that problem. Marcella. Yeah, Steve, that seems weird. Usually you just go to the QR code <laughs> and that's supposed to take you to the app or the website and now that they're covered up, we can't test that, right? So um, <laughs> to open the app first and then scan it, but that does that seems counterintuitive. Anyway, do you know of anyone that has actually gotten a ticket after trying to use that app and then being unsuccessful at paying? I asked the city that very question. I thought how frustrating if you're trying to pay through their system and then you can't and you get a ticket. He said, no, we have not gotten any complaints. We didn't even know about this until a social media post on yesterday. That said, there are still some other ways you can pay Marcella. This meter here will take coins. It will take a credit card and you can still use the app. You just have to punch in manually the code that is listed on each one. But don't try to use the QR code, especially if you're a little kids, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that Google search uh, taking you to the list of pornographic website. Yeah. You wonder if mm. someone might have hacked that code or something directed to, <laughs> to that, but I'm sure uh, it'll be investigated and new codes will be put up soon. Thanks so much, Steve.